and happy new year! Welcome to new year journaling. Today I'm looking at a verse in Lamentations and it's from 3, 22 to 24. Um, I would encourage you to read the bits before that as well because although the verse that I've picked is a happy verse, what's actually going on in this person's life is really troubling and the beginning even says I am the man who has seen affliction by the rod of the Lord's wrath. So he's not having a great time. There's lots of things that happen. Um, and then eventually he says that he has made his paths crooked and, you know, lots of stuff. But then this, and it begins just before that in verse 21, therefore I have hope. So that's the good part. <laughs> So the verse is, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. I never really read this before, but I always see people journaling the his mercies in you every morning verse, and I really like that verse. So I thought I'd find out a bit more about it, and that's what's good about the Bible journaling community is that people inspire each other to do a bit of studying. I think that's great. Okay, let's get started. You're also going to see these biscuits slowly disappear because they are not for show. <laughs> um, yeah, the shortbread is for me to eat as a snack while I do this, so just you can monitor how quickly it disappears. So the first thing to do is choose a colour. I'm going to go with the darkest first. Don't know if that's the right choice, but that's what I'm doing. And it's kind of a messy one, so it would be wise to go and get a piece of paper to put underneath here to protect your page. So I'm gonna go and do that. <laughs> okay, it's very easy. You just take the brush, dip it in the paint, and then just make some patches. It doesn't have to be tidy because it's kind of a messy effect that you're going for. So it looks really scruffy right now, but in the end it will look pretty, so. Um, just keep on adding. I went for the darkest colour first. And it looks like almost black in the palette. I was surprised actually how light it was. And then go for whichever colour because they were kind of equally as bright. I added a little bit too little water. So then I went back and added a bit more water to make it a bit lighter. But you can't really tell. Um, I didn't wait for it to dry because I wanted them to bleed together a bit. So... That was the look I was going for. And once I'd added quite a lot of yellow, then I went for my next colour and filled in all the rest of the gaps, which you'll see me do now. And I kind of, I like it going over the text a bit because it, it links it in with your drawing, you know, like it's flowing together and not just a separate bit that's been stuck in, which I like to do. So there you have it. Now, while you're waiting for this to dry, you might as well eat a shortbread biscuit. That would be my advice. First, while it's drying, it will look like this, like it's leaked all through onto the other page. But what will then happen when it dries is it will just... I don't know how it does it. I think it's because it's wet, it looks more transparent. Um, It won't look like that when it's dry. So let it dry. You can take the paper out. We'll leave it until it's dry. Up to you. I'm going to add a little bit more of the darker colour because this colour and this colour, although they look very different in the dried state, look quite similar now because this is, isn't so dark. So I'm going to add a little bit more to bring it out a bit. Should have put my paper back underneath, but I forgot, so there we are. There we go, just to make them a bit more different. So now it's dry. I actually went upstairs and dried it with my hair dryer because I'm very impatient. Um, you can see, you can barely see the colour through it at all. And um, eventually, once it's been shut for a while and this has been around it, um, keeping it together, then the crinkles will all iron out as well. So there we go. The next thing to do is the writing. So I'm going to write His Mercies of You every morning. The style I'm kind of going for is like a different page that I did, which is this one. Give thanks to the Lord, his love endures forever. That's Psalm 106. 
I really like this part. I do not like this part, but it's there. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to try and do like a mix of smaller and larger capital letters and then um, some lowercase letters as well in the middle. See how that works out. <laughs> okay, so I penciled all of these out and now um, I'm going to go over in pen. Slightly different to usual because I'm going to add an extra block at the edge of the left hand side. But I'm not going to colour it all the way in, I'm just going to scribble it in like that. This is something I did on the um, other page in Psalms. You can barely tell, but <laughs> I, I really like the way it looked, so I'm trying to do a similar thing. This is a bit thicker than last time, but... There we are. That is my January journaling video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did.